So my therapist personally, uh, one of my therapists, I really actually do like this one thing that they always reference. Um, <laughs> if I bring it up and they're here now, they might laugh, but it's the polyvagal states, it's the three states of emotion. So, um, you know, on the top, you have rest, digest, you have freeze, collapse, or you have rest, digest, excuse me, you have fight or flight, and you have freeze, collapse. And essentially being up here means that you are emotionally sound, you are stable, you are comfortable, you are able to communicate openly with others. Fight or flight basically means that, you know, something is causing you anxiety, something causes you to want to fight, to con- to fight back, to whatever, get defensive. And then freeze, oh, thank you for the hand tattoos. I just saw a little something coming. <laughs> um, and then the freeze collapse is essentially just a complete closed off emotional sense of I don't want to do this. I don't have the energy, the time, the anything, you know, um, just a sense of defeat almost in, a, in an emotional sense. And when I'm going through something that is very emotionally charged and I am in distress, I've actually found it really, really helpful for my therapist to literally bring me back to my body because sometimes that's not easy for me to do myself. Um, and over time, you know, I've gotten better at that, but to quite literally in the moment, like say you are in like one of these two down here, like, like, I don't know. It's just for, for, for my therapist to quite literally just tell me like biologically everything that you were going through. It's like, it's like that. It's like biologically validating what I'm going through, you know? (laughs) So with that, it's like what I'm going through is a natural human response to something. And for her to just essentially tell me that and just, you know, point out these obvious facts about what my body is going through, it kind of just causes me to focus on that rather than what emotions are causing me to be that way. You know, Um, I think the focus on that mind body connection has been a really big help in terms of just bringing me to a better place. Um, I know people always say like, try deep breathing and this, that, and the other. And personally for me, like I, I understand the like deep breathing. I like to use the word control your lungs. Cause it just gives me that sense of control a little bit more if I really do get out of control. But I think it's very important to be a grounding source for somebody And that isn't to always provide answers, but that is just to bring them to a place where they are able to think about the problems when they're in a better headspace, you know, to kind of remind them that you're not going to solve anything when you're thinking like this. You're only going to solve things up here. You're not going to solve anything down here because everything is clouded and mushy, you know. Um, So I think that's a really big, important thing is just the validation through Mm -hmm. body and mind connection has really been helpful for me. And that was thanks to my therapist that really brought that out. 